Hi, I'm Scott Murray. Delighted to be here at Success North Dallas to share with you uh, some great uh, visions on what lies ahead in this crazy world that we're all a part of. And of course, when we talk about leadership, we go to this gentleman to my right. I'm talking about one of the greatest football players in the history of the collegiate football ranks. As a matter of fact, number two all time as far as the list that was put together recently of the top 150 collegiate football players. Jim Brown, the great running back, Syracuse University, the Cleveland Browns, member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, number one on the list. And who's number two? This gentleman right here, Herschel Walker. Valedictorian at his high school, went on to win the Heisman Trophy in 1982, then went to the USFL, then came to the Dallas Cowboys, and then was part of the greatest and the biggest trade in the history of the National Football League, member of the College Football Hall of Fame, and one of, without a doubt, one of the greatest running backs, yes, but one of the nicest people you will ever meet on the face of this earth. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Hello there. How you doing? Good. Well, Tell the world what you're doing right now. We know what you did in the football world, but uh, you know mixed mixed martial arts, and of course uh, you remember the bobsled team yes. in Albertville, France, back in 1992. For Pete's sake, you can and you still look like you could play football. For Pete's sake. Well, I'm staying in shape. With so much going on today, you know, I'm trying to stay busy. Most of all, just be a good father. I think that's that is one of the main things. Continue to be a Christian, and you know, running a small little business. I hate to say small little business. It has grown now. We have about 800 employees. Well, tell the world that you, as far as minority or Owners in this in this world of business, I mean, it's it's very impressive. Tell them. Yeah, I became the uh, largest minority-owned food company in the United States. So I built that company up, and I'm also the largest minority-owned apparel company uh, in the United States. And uh, you know, also work uh, in Washington a little bit with the president of the United States, which has been interesting. So God has been good to me, and uh, so I just keep working. And like I said, most of all, just continue to be a good father, because I think that's the main thing. My son is 20 right now, so he thinks he knows everything. So being a father when you have a 20-year-old is pretty difficult. I think that's about how old you were when I met you back yes. in uh, 1982, 83, the Heisman winner, and then, of course, you came to the Cowboys in 86. That's almost 40 years ago, my friend. Oh, you shouldn't have mentioned 40 <laughs> years ago. I was going to tell everyone I'm only like 26. I'm only 26. Well, you still look it. Well, thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm still working out all the time. You know, I, I work with the military. That's probably my biggest joy. I started a program called Patriot Support about 12 years ago. We have 40 behavior health hospitals, and uh, today we treat be anywhere between 45 to 5,000 soldiers a year. So every three weeks, I'm at a base somewhere in the world, and you know that's been my biggest love. I've always wanted to do something in the military, and God has blessed me to help some young men and women who I think are true heroes in this country. And so that's one reason I'm so thrilled to work with our military service men and women. Herschel, you talk about this country. Let's talk about what's going on right now. We finally saw football get back in the field. Nobody in the stands, but, and then of course with all the, the, uh, the racial issues and the, the Black Lives Matter and, and you, you stand, you sit, this, I mean when, when the, the national anthems played, so many things are going on in this world. Just uh, share with us, uh, and we saw you at the Republican National Convention, you are a rock star at that, uh, you get great reviews. Just your, your thoughts on what's going on in our world today. Well, you know, uh, it's great to have uh, football back. You know, I always wanted football to come back, but you know, one of the biggest things, I said at the very beginning, that I didn't want politics in sports because, you know, in politics, you know, you have a team. And I think putting politics in sports, I think you bring division. And right now with the commissioner, I think he's selling out. And uh, he probably don't like Herschel Walker, but I don't care. I say I think he's selling out. The reason why he wanted to bring different uh, quotes uh, like Black Lives Matter. He wanted to bring different quotes and letting guys put names of different people on their helmet. And I said, guys, I don't think that's right. First of all, you got to learn what certain th things means because, you know, words has uh, consequences. And I think because of the, you know, the general public, they have a right to protest as well. And when they don't come out to see you play or when they turn against you, that's their right as well. And I think that's what is happening right now. You have certain players that believe in certain things. And I think some players are being suppressed that they can't say what they believe in. Otherwise, you're going to be called all types of names. So I think you should just keep it as a team, continue to play as a team, and maybe the owners and the commissioner can get together and go to Washington. Because that's where it's going to happen. At. It's, going to, it's not going to happen out on the football field. There's no doubt they can have a voice, but nothing is going to happen on the football field. And, and I think that's what they got to do. Herschel Walker, continued success. Stay safe, my friend. Hey, thank you.